That is a quick video review of this product called Shade Stick that I got from Amazon. It was about $69 shipped. Basically what it is, it's a rear shade window, um, sunshade that goes in, in your back window along the deck. It clips into your child seat anchor, which is actually one of the most different things in, from car to car, but all cars from 2000 should have these things, which is basically three anchors for um, sort of a car seat if your car seat does not have um, seat belt clippings. So you could anchor the car seats with these things. Um, normally people do not use them because most car seats since 2000 comes with, come with um, clipping ones that clip right into um, a seat harness anchor here. So this is a rear deck anchor, but no one really uses these unless you have multiple kids or use um, sort of bigger car seat, I believe, would use these. So basically all it is, you strap, it installs in five minutes. So you would strap this in. You pull the cinch tabs. Also recommend tying these down. I don't have these tied down because um, uh, I've read reviews where people say these have come undone or loose and then the tension of the shade pulls this up and it rips out. But you know, try to secure that down, tie it down as well. So I just have this in the forward position. I know it's rattling in this video, but when I'm driving and I drive very, um, very uh, fast and rough. Uh, there's no rattling in the cabin. It's really quiet. It doesn't bobble around. It stays in place with the shade down, with the shade up. There's no rattling at all. I actually had my older BMW had the electric sunshade, and the electric sunshade sits inside the deck, and that shade would rattle a lot when I um, drove a little bit uh, fast or uh, rough and rough roads. Now you could clip tied in that way as well. These tie downs also have a sliding um, base, so you could sort of unscrew these and slide it back and forth and depend on how you want to anchor it. So it's one on that side and one on that side. There's no, it's only two, even though most cars would have the three anchors, the kit only comes with the two tie downs, so, which is sufficient, I believe. The kit also, and this is not really said online, you can remove the end caps like this. And I may actually end up doing this because I love the shade so much. And inside the end caps, you have hidden holes that you could actually, you could get bind in screws and bind it and screw it down into your um, rear deck. And my rear deck on the BMW 335XI actually has um, a space for a sunshade because some of these cars do come with a sunshade optional. So what I might actually do is uh, when the summertime comes, just get bind in screws. They're power drill screws. So, and they're maybe about half an inch and they're really fat and I just power drill it right to the, uh, it's like a <coughs> fiber kind of insulation panel here. Sort of like a fiberglass plastic, I believe, is what the rear deck material is. And I have um, worked with rear deck on rear decks and BMWs when I did my previous sunshade installs on my last two, three series. So I kind of know how tough these are. And you could just drill two holes and just power drill it and, and sort of bolt it right down to the deck. Um, just so it's it goes away back from the um, speakers because right now it sort of hovers over the speakers but it doesn't interfere with the speakers but kind of just want it permanently in the car with this setup you could add you could take it out of the car anytime you want so and you can say like if we go to on vacation and rent a car you could also bring this along with you especially if you do have the baby it does pr protect my baby from um, the sun in the back back window and the clipping system on this is actually really with a brilliant i believe brilliancy of this kit is because it doesn't it doesn't hook into the headliner itself but on the back of the headliner where it reaches the sun shades it's really hard for me to get a video here but i'm gonna try to uh, focus so you guys can see the sunshade has a lip like a sort of a one inch lip that goes hard, vertically up to the glass so the hooks that come with the kit basically hook on to the lip of that um headliner but it's really rigid here it's like some sort of like it's like a metal band or something that goes along the lip of this headliner so to keep it really rigid so all the kit does is hooks onto that and these are totally removable they don't drill into the headliner or you could glue them on but there's nothing to drill here um so the sunshades basically hook onto this but the force the force of the sunshade when it's pulled up is sort of um, at a 45 degree angle. It doesn't pull down and it doesn't pull away. So it pulls sort of like a 45 degree angle. So the for force of it is actually neutralized against this headliner. So it doesn't pull down the headliner and it doesn't pull away the headliner um, to, the, to the back. So it's a really great anchoring system, I believe, for the thing. The only downside of these clips is 
it's really tricky if you plan to use this a lot up and down it's really tricky to clip it in so that's how it looks clipped in so like if you want to take it off because the hooks are really tiny and I have smallish hands but if you have bigger hands or you have long fingernails it's really really tricky to um, hook and unhook this so let me just do this side so you guys can see so that's another hook there that's hooked in so once one is up it's easy to clip on the other one so let's move back so that's how it looks on my car and I have a 335XI which is a smallish sedan and here you can see there's about a two inch gap there and about a two inch gap on that side um, so it it does provide good coverage but that's that's good enough for me I mean and for $69 I believe this kit is a bargain now taking it down is a bit of a trick especially with one hand on the camera one hand on the clip so you would unclip it like that now the downside of that is if there's any damage that's going to happen to your headliner being pulled down is when you remove this shade because you could accidentally pull the clips down, pull the hooks down and you're going to have to just come around here. So what you want to do is come around and just and unhook it and let it drop so you guys can see the force of it. So it's like that kind of forceful. But yeah, so if there's any damage that's going to happen is if you keep unhooking and hooking on the shade. So what you probably could do is just leave it up all the time or just put it up in the daytime, take it down at night. But you don't want to definitely, the way the kid is, you don't want to be unhooking and unhooking this like every <laughs> every time you stop or park the car or every several times a day. So just like minimize the amount of times you want to unhook it. Now, like I said, what I'm going to do is because I love this shade so much, the quality of it, it's metal, it's OEM quality. It even comes with a parts number sticker, which is kind of interesting. And I think this might be an OEM kind of shade that's used by Toyota. I'm not sure, because I did notice the company that makes this, they make a lot of parts for Toyota. So Toyota Corolla and Toyota Camry. So I'm not sure if this is maybe a factory shade that um, they sell on the side. Um, now, it is a quality shade. You feel how firm and rigid that is. So I'm going to bolt this down, but I'm also thinking of maybe making these clips up here permanently. Um, Probably anchored so it doesn't really you know it doesn't slide around so I might actually use a bit of a glue or something there I'm not sure I'm not sure if it's even a good idea but I kind of just want to make this a permanent uh, thing in the car and that's my review of this awesome product and it's definitely I know a lot of people with BMWs don't have the shade option and they want the shade option $69 is a really good bargain and the dealership wanted dealership sells the same shade the manual shade for about $200 and they charge I believe a $300 fee to install it you can also get the power shade that's that runs about 500 600 at the dealership and they do charge about a thousand eight hundred to a thousand dollars labor I've heard to install the um, power shade so you're looking about saving a thousand over a thousand dollars by just going with the $69 shade and at the eBay ones that you do see on eBay they come from Taiwan and Asia and they, they those guys want $100 for their shades and you wait in three weeks for it to be shipped over from, from those countries. So for $69 and this was shipped in the U.S. Um, is a really good bargain and that's it.